When you hear Segway, you probably think of self-balancing machines or electric scooters. I've got a few of those myself. But did you also know that Segway makes robotic mowers? I'm Jamie Andrews and this is the Segway X350, their new flagship robot, designed for yards up to 1.5 acres. It's part of a lineup of three other models covering from half an acre up to 2.5 acres in size. The key difference? Battery size, which dictates mowing time before a quick recharge at its ultra-fast charging dock. Let's dive in and look at the Segway X350. This mower uses an onboard GPS system paired with a stationary RTK station for precise location. To boost satellite visibility, you can add a second RTK station anywhere with an outlet. The X3 series features a third generation EFLS technology with cameras on each side, one up front, and a TOF time of flight sensor. This 300 degree view aids navigation even with weak satellite signals and can identify up to 200 different objects. For nighttime mowing, a front mounted LED light illuminates obstacles. Powering the X350 are two independently controlled rear motors connected to massive 10 inch wheels. Given Segway's expertise in electric motor control, it's equipped with its advanced traction control system, allowing it to tackle slopes up to 27 degrees and handle uneven or soft terrain, perfect for my sandy Florida yard. The mowing mechanism uses a 10 inch anti-clog disc with six razor sharp hardened blades. On top, a retro style dot metric screen provides real time updates and serves as a display for the onboard controls, which include a large red stop button and three additional buttons for direct interaction without needing to pull out your phone. A removable panel reveals ports for separately purchased side attachments like a string trimmer or fertilizer spreader, aiming for a full lawn care solution. The dock itself simply charges the mower, and I do highly recommend purchasing the optional garage to protect the IP66 rated mower from the elements. I won't go into detail with the setup process as Segway has excellent guides built right into the app and on their website. I'll link those below. Essentially, just download the Segway Navimo app, connect via Bluetooth to set up Wi-Fi, and activate the 4G cellular network. And this means that you won't need full Wi-Fi coverage across your yard. The base model includes one year free of 4G connectivity with more years on higher tier models. Once connected, mapping your yard is very easy via remote controlling the robot along the perimeter or using the AI-assisted mapping. AI mapping generally works pretty well, automatically navigating obvious yard edges. If it makes a mistake, the eraser feature backtracks the robot and literally reverses in place, and you can switch to manual mapping at any time. After mapping the zones, designate off-limit areas around obstacles like trees, bushes, mailboxes, etc. While the app allows advanced scheduling, monitor the first mow and make any adjustments necessary. Segway provides excellent control for fine-tuning this. One feature I appreciate is being able to manually control the mower through the app, even enabling mowing at the same time. You can also drop a pin anywhere in your yard and send the mower to that exact location, useful for map refinement. For security, Segway includes an audible alarm if the mower is lifted and removed, a pin to power it off, and app-based tracking for a stolen unit due to its constant connection via the cellular network. Instead of traditional rain sensors, Navimo uses real-time local weather data to automatically pause mowing for rain, snow, extreme heat, frost, or even strong winds. You can adjust mowing height between 2 and 4 inches. An adapter sold separately lowers it to 1.8 inches if needed. With its IP66 rating, you can safely rinse off the Navimo with low pressure water. Segway tracks and notifies you via the app for routine upkeep, mainly blade replacements, and spares are included in the box. Kids leave toys everywhere, and thankfully the X3 series won't mulch them. Even when I jumped in front of it, not recommended, the X350 avoided me. Larger branches? No problem, though pick them up when you can. A tough test was a low-profile camouflage-style sprinkler. Impressively, the X350 detected and avoided it, a first on my channel. 
The only thing that tripped it up was a small spray nozzle laying in the grass, which it rolled right over, but it was low enough to clear the blades. After several months of using the X350 and reviewing four different robot mowers on my channel, I think I have a solid grasp of its strengths and weaknesses. Out of the box, efficient mode was too fast for my thick grass. Standard mode was better, but it still left a few blades of uncut grass. The third option, quiet mode, slows movement, but it also reduces the blade disc speed, prioritizing noise over cutting, which is an odd trade-off. Segway designed the mower with a removable top plate over the blades, which is their anti-clog system, which prevents grass from being wrapped around the blades, an issue on my other mowers. However, the anti-clog disc, while keeping debris from accumulating, covers part of the blades. Combined with the mower's fast speed, this can lead to uncut patches of grass, potentially requiring more frequent mowing. Segway uses customized mowing patterns to vary the cutting angles, and in the app you can even deselect certain ones to eliminate inefficient angles per zone. However, you can't select a checkerboard or diamond pattern, which may disappoint some. A checkerboard pattern could have helped with the speed issue by ensuring two passes per zone. I noticed the X350 avoided certain sandy areas with little grass, likely to prevent it from getting stuck. I used the app to create vision fence off zones to override this problem. It also hesitated on weeds taller than say five or six inches. The workaround is disabling object avoidance in that area or hitting them after with a string trimmer, which is less than ideal. If you're fortunate enough to not have tall weeds in your yard, well, lucky for you, this will not be an issue. Another issue was path overlap, sometimes too wide, and unfortunately it's not adjustable in the app. Fine-tuning overlap would also improve coverage, especially on thicker grass. Finally, I wish the app allowed remote viewing of the camera in real time for monitoring your yard. Segway is an advanced company known for top-tier durable hardware and software. Their electric motors and battery tech have been flawless for me for many years, and the X3 series should be no exception to that rule. The build quality is excellent. Nothing at all feels cheap. The dot matrix screen is highly functional and quite impressive. The app is fantastic, packed with details, easy to navigate, and includes benchmark setting user guides. The Bluetooth connection is exceptionally stable with a long range, and I experience no hiccups or glitches with this unit. Now, traction control. In my sandy Florida yard, every two-wheel drive robot mower I have tested has gotten stuck multiple times. All-wheel drive or four-wheel drive mowers can cause lawn damage with frequent use. Segway's two-wheel drive system with advanced traction control is the perfect balance. I watched the X350 struggle in a very tricky sandy part of my yard. I was fully expecting it to continually get stuck and never get out and have to free it myself. But it didn't. It slowly worked its way out, and every single time it hit this area, it was always able to get free. It's very impressive. The 300-degree camera view provides excellent object avoidance. I rarely worried about it running over things in my yard and found only a few scratches on the body after multiple hours of use. Likewise, I do not worry about having to constantly check in the app to see if it's stuck somewhere or if someone got sticky fingers and walked off with it thanks to its standard 4G cell network connectivity. A truly appreciated feature is being able to pause a job, edit the zone, and then resume where it left off. AI auto map, while not perfect, is fascinating and more precise than my manual mapping. I map my entire yard with minimal manual adjustments. I hope Segway does refine this more as it's a huge step towards mass adoption of robot mowers. In the end, the Segway X3 series impressed me with its well-designed software and app, advanced object avoidance system, solid build quality, and unmatched traction control. However, its grass cutting performance is slightly behind mowers with dual disc, additional blades, and more control over forward speed and path overlap. If you're okay mowing more frequently, this won't be a major issue, and the anti-clog disc helps tremendously with maintenance. I've reported these concerns to Segway, and if any get resolved, I'll pin a comment with updates. 
For value, I think the X330 offers the best bang for your buck, doubling yard coverage to one acre for just a few hundred dollars more. But honestly, any of them will do as long as you understand it will just take longer to mow larger than rated yards due to the battery needing more frequent recharge sessions. And thankfully, it does charge really quick. I'll leave links below to where you can purchase, and that also goes a long way to help support this channel. I'll be reviewing three more mowers this season, so make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and take care, everyone. Bye-bye.